Well, if there's one interaction everybody really looks forward to and to understand both about what is happening in the markets, what's happening in Mutila Loswal Financial Services as a company, which way things are moving for the financial sector per se, and which way the economy and valuations are moving. Well, that is that one interaction is with Ramdev Agarwal of Mutila Loswal Financial Services. It's always a delight to meet you in person, host you in our studio. Thank you for joining us. Uh, you're smiling. Markets are up. Profits are up. And congratulations. <laughs> now you are a thousand crore quarterly profit company. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised by the, the result of our own company. You know, I was indicated that will be about uh, this number. But when actual number came out, thousand plus, I mean, last minute adjustment they do in terms of provisioning and all. So it turned out to be 1021. I said, this is something. <laughs> we clapped. I said, please clap for this result. So I think this is the power of tailwind in the industry and our execution, both. I mean, uh, so operating profits are up 40, 45%. And mark to market is also up by 40, 50%. But that's, that can be up and down. But what we have to focus on is the real first engine, that is the operating profit. That is very robust. Quarter and quarter, it is building up. It is 40% up. All the businesses are firing up. Whether it's broking, asset management, private equity, wealth management, I banking, which was absolutely out of action for many years, you know. So for the last one, one and a half years, even that engine is firing. We have 35 IPO mandates, and we are, I, I believe, uh, we are number one in QIPs in, in India. So I think uh, revenue buildup is very good as the economy is progressing, and this 7-8% growth is on. Uh, I'm quite sure the capital markets will remain buoyant. Participation is increasing, retail participation, FIs which were sitting on the fence. I think they are also now finally saying event risk is gone, even budget is gone. Now they have to finally decide whether they want to come into India or they want to go away from India. My sense is they will come to India, maybe not in a big way, but uh, there will be net-net positive uh, going forward. So then the, the, the activity shifts to a lot more capital market activity in terms of high banking wealth management. So those things will rocket big time. So I think a lot is happening in capital market. And uh, it is it is a kind of revolution. I mean, when you pass through that phase, it, I'm feeling like uh, what happened in IT in 90s, you know, late 90s, mm -hmm. 97, 98, 2000. And then uh, it started with a billion dollar export and now it is $250 billion export in 25 years. It has changed the entire country. Mm -hmm. I think this is even bigger than that. So inclusion of the entire retail into the, uh, and well guarded, extremely well managed by SEBI and authorities out here, digital infrastructure. I think it, this, is a, this is a story worth watching. Mm. So when you say I, this is bigger than IT, IT revolution lasted for a good 10 years before it was peaked out in, in terms of the team. And then of bubble. course it slows down. Yeah. You know? So how far are we, where are we? If you have to do a parallel with IT, is this still the beginning of what could be called as a financial inclusion, uh, you know, revolution? It's just about two, three years right now. Okay. So, uh, uh, fortunately, it's linked to the size of the economy, because your savings, this is savings pool getting transferred. See, your savings, uh, even if see, you are growing, the economy is growing at about nine, nine and a half percent dollar year after for last twenty five years. Okay, so there is no reason why we will not grow at nine, nine and a half percent dollar going forward. It could be a little higher, but let's presume as good as bad of the past. So 9% the growth is there. So now we have the power of compounding is that base changes. So, uh, you know, uh, when the base changes from a trillion to four trillion, mm -hmm. now you're growing on four trillion dollars. So your savings are also growing. So last year we had savings about 1.3 trillion dollars in the entire economy. But the, the financial savings of the households are about 20% mm -hmm. of the GDP. And of that, only 5-6% is the pure financial savings, so uh, of the household savings. So only 1 or 2% is going into the market. What stops of the larger GDP, uh, say a 5% shift to the capital market, which is not uh, something impossible. So 10 years out, let's look at 10 years out, when my GDP is, say, $8 trillion. Mm -hmm. Of that 5%, yeah. so instead yeah. of getting $100 billion, we might get $400 billion in a year. Mm -hmm. You know, some 30, 35 lakh crores. Right now we're getting about 8, mm -hmm. 9 lakh crores per annum. So that could go to about four, 500 lakh crores. So that is a possibility. Now it doesn't happen in straight line. There will be some corrections, there will be some slowdown or something like that. But I think the story is, and this will rewrite the corporate story of India. Mm -hmm. Corporate interest, 
uh, infra build of the country, mm -hmm. the GDP of the country, and hence the savings and then the investment. So it's a, it has a huge, uh, what you call, trickle down effect. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the size of the pot, like investors always say, is big. But the competition is also increasing yes. because of technology, because of uh, also what is happening in terms of the P investors coming in. Mm. So business will grow, but could yields come down? No, no, no. See, you have to see business by business. There are six, seven segments in capital mm. market, like exchanges. There is only one BSE, one. There is mm. only one NSE, mm. and now BSE is being mm. is coming up to compete. But there is nothing else. You know, when we when we started in 87, mm -hmm. the daily turnover was 200 crores per day. <laughs> 200 crores per day and it used to be T plus 15 settlement days. Mm -hmm. And it used to get selling T plus 21. Mm -hmm. Today, it is more than 400 lakh crores. Yeah. Okay. And it is T plus 1 settlement. Mm -hmm. So, what I'm saying is, this is 2 lakh time mm -hmm. growth of the market. Nothing has grown at this pace, and it still it is growing at 50%. Mm -hmm. Still, on this base also. Mm -hmm. So, what I'm saying is, this is so this is about the broking or transaction based mm -hmm. services. But look at the AMCs. Mm -hmm. We are at just about 40 lakh crores to the, I mean total, say total mm -hmm. mutual fund is about 60 lakh crores to the mm -hmm. uh, entire entire nation. Your uh, deposit, bank deposit base is about 200 lakh crores. Mm -hmm. So you are barely 30% of mm -hmm. uh, deposits. It should be one to one. So as we go forward, this, this pie is going to grow. The equity side at least mm -hmm. will keep growing at 25% compounded. Mm -hmm. So this 40 lakh crores, uh, this 40 lakh crores AUM, 10 years back, it was 4 lakh crores. Mm -hmm. Today it is 40 lakh crores. Will it be 400 lakh crores? Mm -hmm. It can be, logically. Yeah. Uh -huh. So the top 5 or 7 or maybe mm -hmm. top 10 AMCs, they have 70-80% market share. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is, yes, there is a competition. There's no, I mean, it's not that uh, if somebody doesn't do broking with you or doesn't manage, uh, doesn't give you money to manage, there is no other option. So that's the beauty of it. Mm -hmm. We have very healthy competition, mm -hmm. and nobody is eating. Uh, uh, nobody is being challenged by anybody. Mm -hmm. It all depends on your competences mm -hmm. because there is so much of customers. You are getting four million customers every month. Mm -hmm. You so, have added four million customers. No, not me. The system. Okay. Last How many month, did you add? La, no, no, ours is mm -hmm. little lower. Mm -hmm. We must be adding maybe fifty, sixty thousand customers every mm -hmm. month mm -hmm. because we uh, we we take only larger ticket customers. Mm -hmm. Because of our advisory and all, mm -hmm. but uh, yes, there also we are adding. But what I'm saying is the system is going from 40 million demand account mm -hmm. to 162 million. Last month was 4.2 million. Mm -hmm. So this is a nothing sort of revolution. Mm -hmm. This multi-year trend. Huh? Multi-year trend. It's mm -hmm. a decadal trend. Mm -hmm. I think you see half a billion customers mm -hmm. from 150 million in next eight nine years, half a billion customers and existing customers also putting more money. Mm -hmm. So this gives. Uh, opportunity to the broking, it gives mm -hmm. opportunity to asset management, mm -hmm. it gives opportunity to wealth management, it gives opportunity to unlisted side. Mm -hmm. So everything just flowers. Mm -hmm. So we've seen a rare combination of earnings surprise and liquidity surge. It's been a rare combination for the market in last mm -hmm. couple of years. Earnings mm -hmm. have been gradually actually yeah. you know upgraded mm -hmm. and flows have surprised everybody. Yes. What would be the driving factor next two to three years now? It has to be earnings only. Okay. Because ultimately, in the long run, it is a weighing, weighing mm -hmm. machine. Mm -hmm. So that's why it is very important to see this quarter is very challenged mm -hmm. in terms of so far what earnings we are seeing. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, because of maybe election time, government expenditure, uh, maybe even the heat was too much. Mm -hmm. So I think the entire June quarter was a combination of a lot of bad negative macro factors came together. And on top of it, you had the political people were very intensely fought election. So, uh, and I think you're also not allowed to spend uh, mm -hmm. as a government. So now the new government has come and mm -hmm. uh, now they have to do the expenditure mm -hmm. of 12 months in nine months kind of. Mm -hmm. So I think you'll see accelerated execution of uh, projects. So I think the economy should pick up as we go forward. Monsoon has been fierce right now uh, and uh, that will have a very good effect uh, at least in the second half in the festival season and all. And hopefully the interest rates also come down somewhat, at least 50 basis point in next six months. So I think everything is pointing to uh, pointing to pick up in the economy. Uh, but uh, let's see, I mean, how it goes. Because corporate earnings must come. Yeah, I mean, our, our uh, research department is saying that next year, it will be at least 14-15% uh, nifty EPS. From 1000 EPS in uh, 2024, it is likely to be 1130. That's what they say. Mm -hmm. But at the beginning of the year and at the end of the year, <laughs> you know that. But it is still not expensive. 
I mean, even yeah, if, if, if that is so, then your Nifty is not expensive at all. Yeah. I mean, at 2021 20, times for the mm. uh, India story, mm. I don't think it is out of line. Mm. Let's start cutting across sectors. Mm. The leadership in the bull market right mm. now lies with Capex, PSUs, and some of those, uh, uh, you know, so-called uh, infra themes. Mm. Are they the clear winners in this bull market and do you think that's the space which will continue to drive and surprise the market irrespective of the current uh, valuations? See, as, I mean, because of the shortage of supply mm -hmm. of the quality stocks and these are not the, I mean, to start with, they were small cap to mid caps. Mm -hmm. And today, because of the expansion in the multiple mm -hmm. or even expansion in the earnings, mm -hmm. they have become very large companies, you know. So, uh, but uh, will they keep up with the uh, uh, the expectations, you know, mm -hmm. you are, some stocks are trading at, I mean, mm -hmm. most of the stocks are trading at 40, 50, 60 p multiple. Mm -hmm. So, will they be able to match up with, say, at least half the growth? Mm -hmm. Say, 30 percent sustained growth can they do? Mm -hmm. Generally, we have found that uh, beyond 20 percent, mm -hmm. very few companies are able to stack up mm -hmm. for a long time. Mm -hmm. Even five years. Five years, I mean, at least in the past, Five years, 20-25 percent growth is also almost impossible. Mm -hmm. So uh, some of these valuations are looking very lofty, mm -hmm. and uh, hence the sector churn has to happen. I mean, like uh, wherever the excessive valuation is there, uh, since the flow is coming, money has to find its way. Mm -hmm. So what will happen is silently the more expensive companies like Asian Paints, Titan, mm -hmm. all these mm -hmm. very heavily priced companies, they will stay. They will have time correction, and the money will flow to the other uh, companies which are uh, growing, freshly growing companies. And they are finding, uh, they are being, they look to be relatively cheaper. Mm -hmm. uh, but is it time now to start looking at a business, a sector which you always, you know, uh, in a sense, uh, talk spoken about, consumers, rural facing companies, staples, because monsoon is good, government knows that rural spend needs to be picked up. And if consumption does not come back, you know, there is a problem even at the macro yeah, yeah. level. You can't, you can't, you can't become seriously mm -hmm. large economy without, uh, I mean, what for you are working at the exactly, end of it, if exactly, consumption exactly. is not happening. So time to look at consumption stocks again or consumer yeah, stocks see, again. If, if you understand them well, mm. uh, well managed and it is just a passing phase, mm. uh, I think this is a time to definitely build. But you have to have a lot of patience mm -hmm. because it, is, it, it could be quite frustrating mm. if by chance things don't turn out for another 12 months mm -hmm. and everything else moves up. Mm. So then you are like uh, one of, somebody was saying, you know, all the FIs, what they did, they were sitting in HGFC bank yeah, and yeah. the water flew from other side. Mm -hmm. So they are feeling, I mean, they're, they're actually mm -hmm. allocated in India, mm -hmm. but the India portfolio also because of wrong selection mm -hmm. might have not done as well. Mm -hmm. So you have to be very careful uh, how much you own mm -hmm. of something which is more like a value, mm -hmm. not so much of a growth. Mm -hmm. So what is good and cheap in this market? <laughs> <laughs> it is for the fund managers to figure out, I mean, uh, you have to speak to our team uh, mm -hmm. for individual stocks. In any case, I'm not at liberty to mm -hmm. talk No, no, I'm not talking about, about stocks here, but yeah. you know, like PSU stocks in 2020, they were cheap. Yeah. They were not good, but they were cheap. So, Niko, now you have to find relatively cheap stocks. Okay. Absolute cheap stocks, mm -hmm. which era tha, right, right, what right. we have seen, 40 right, years, right, 10 feet, right. 8 feet, mm -hmm. 7. I think that era is over. Okay. So, now, if the uh, index is trading at uh, 21, 22 times uh, mm -hmm. nifty, uh, mm -hmm. large cap, and mid caps are trading at 30, mm. 35 times. Mm. So, mm. can I get a good mid cap mm. at 20 times mm. Mm. or 15 times? Mm. Because earlier, cheap mid caps means single digit P. Mm. Mm. Now, cheap mid caps means 15, 17 P. Mm. Mm. So, that, has, that is a uh, kind of a challenge mm. Mm. now. And it has to be relative. Mm. Uh, absolute, uh, absolutely cheap uh, stocks are very rare to come by. Mm. Can I say private banks? are suffering not because of earnings, but because of technical factors. Every time they go higher, FIs are selling. They're good businesses to own, but they're selling. What can one do? Uh, both things are there, but if you are I mean, if you are um, doing very well, mm -hmm. why should even FI sell? And second is that uh, there is enough domestic flow mm -hmm. who, will, who will take it up. If you're growing at 30-40%, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. your uh, deposit challenges are not there. Because what happens is when the large leader bank, basically, say like HDFC Bank, when HDFC Bank is for whatever issues, which might be very mm -hmm. specific to HDFC Bank, mm -hmm. the merger, the transition, because of that, the leader remains low. Mm -hmm. the, it, 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 it hurts the entire sector. Mm -hmm. I remember in 92, ACC had a problem mm -hmm. because they, they brought the first million ton plant in body mm -hmm. and that didn't function for quite some time. It hurt the EPS of ACC. But if the ACC is available cheap, then the entire sector mm -hmm. also remains cheap. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, right now, 
uh, as a uh, as a this merger process gets resolved or subsumed mm -hmm. and uh, normal earnings start getting uh, I mean start functioning the bank start functioning mm -hmm. as a merge entity starting from September this mm -hmm. I think next quarter is the last quarter as a kind of a year on year comparison I think the first quarter year on year comparison will start from September and then the journey starts so I think uh, we could be at the bottom of uh, private sector because if the private sector banks don't fly mm -hmm. I mean how far will go as an economy mm -hmm. Warren Buffett made a late bet in his late uh, 70s, early 80s, actually in Apple, mm. which is the largest part of his portfolio. Mm. And that, in a sense, has become his most famous bet in the last 15 years. Mm. In his early 60s, mm. what could be that bet for Ramdev Agrawal? <sighs> hey, Buffett, you don't have to tell your name. See, the, the point is that, uh, as I said, uh, my bet is all my, uh, my own products, you know. Yeah. Uh, and uh, one or two stocks which I own personally, which I see now. One of the things is that I want to buy stocks only forever. Okay. Okay. I mean, I definitely. I mean, uh, after, but I don't want to do from zero date. Mm -hmm. Once the company uh, becomes of some size, mm -hmm. say 10, 15,000 crores turnover, mm -hmm. maybe mm -hmm. 500 crores. So I don't have to test whether he's going to he's good or bad. Mm -hmm. His business model is mm -hmm. right or not. Mm -hmm. So once that is tested, if mm -hmm. I like the guy and mm -hmm. I like the business. I want to buy small chunks mm -hmm. for ever types. Mm -hmm. And uh, the inspiration came from AU Bank, you know. Mm -hmm. We bought it, uh, uh, say, at 1400 crore valuation mm -hmm. I bought. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm still holding, uh, and uh, now it is 40, 45,000 crores market mm -hmm. gap. Mm -hmm. I mean, whether the, whatever be the short term challenges of the sector or the bank mm -hmm. or whatever, the journey is long, very mm -hmm. long. Mm -hmm. So you have to sit through. I mean, for three, four years, we have not made any money out of mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. when the market is just booming. But this is the, the patience you have to see, I think I have a patience now. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of patient capital. So I can sit in a business which is which has a fantastic long term mm -hmm. but very challenging short term. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. that's the spot where you'll get mm -hmm. good quality business at reasonable price. Mm -hmm. So higher uncertainty and higher margin of safety. That combination you look at. When there's uncertainty, you get good value and that's the time you want to buy. Yeah, so I want to test I I want to buy tested good business run by good management, mm -hmm. but today passing through some mm -hmm. headwind. Mm -hmm. Because businesses, good mm -hmm. businesses also have a headwind. Mm -hmm. You know, I have seen enough headwind in mm -hmm. my business. Mm -hmm. Today it is tailwinded. Mm -hmm. But there are headwind. And headwind is punished by the market big time. Mm -hmm. Today, uh, deposits are moving away from banks to uh, mm -hmm. capital market. There is a challenge for the, uh, I mean, it's there in the yeah. FM mm -hmm. interview, yeah. it is there in the RBI interview, everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's a big subject. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they will... Mm -hmm. uh, pass through this, but mm -hmm. this transition is real. Mm -hmm. So you see what is happening on the capital market side and what mm -hmm. is happening on the mm -hmm. banking side. Mm -hmm. so, so, but then these are all passing phase. Mm -hmm. uh, the India has, to, I mean, the nation has to find a way. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, enough credit, enough liquidity mm -hmm. has to be there for the banks to lend to the corporate world. Otherwise, mm -hmm. just the equity is not going to uh, solve the problem. So you have to have a longer term understanding of the business and mm -hmm. the management. More importantly, management because in the longer run. Uh, businesses remain good, but mm -hmm. the, if the management is jockey is not good, mm -hmm. then also there is a problem. So mm -hmm. I think t when the combination of good business mm -hmm. and good management come, then you can sit long term. Mm -hmm. So I think, and India is one is to see, India is a component story. Mm -hmm. One of the beauty of India is that I have seen 40 years of India. Mm -hmm. What have we not seen? Mm -hmm. Forex crisis, Cargill crisis, uh, atomic bomb crisis, uh, Y2K crisis, sab kuch dekh liya Mm -hmm. Coalition government, mm -hmm. 30 years of coalition mm -hmm. government. Mm -hmm. So the political crisis, the social mm -hmm. crisis, the military crisis, the famine, the flood. Now, you have $650 billion of reserve. Mm -hmm. Every week, you are getting $6, $7 billion. World is looking at India as the, one of the fastest growing mm -hmm. economy, mm -hmm. large economy. And the base is there now. See, for everything, you need a base. Mm -hmm. And now, we have, with $4, $5 trillion of economy, $5 trillion of capitalization, we are there now. Nobody mm -hmm. can ignore us. Mm -hmm. Even China someday has to accept that they are honorable neighbor rather mm -hmm. than mm -hmm. uh, doing musti with them. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, everything is uh, mm -hmm. uh, going good. So the com India's story is compounded story. Mm -hmm. Past has been compounded. There is no reason mm -hmm. why the future will not be compounded. Mm -hmm. And in that future compounded story, mm -hmm. you have a lot of businesses which are compounded. And within them, the good managements, they will have a compounded mm -hmm. story. Uh, you know, one of, uh, at least I know this is one of my favorite lines of Warren Buffett that there are two rules of investing in stock market. Rule mm -hmm. number one, never lose money. Rule number two, never forget rule number one. We are sitting at that level of the market where everybody, in a sense, has been rewarded 
if you've participated in the so. stock market yeah. in last two, three years, mm. whether it's large cap, small cap or mid cap. Mm. Do you think at this level one should take some cash off the table? Do you think it is time to check the asset allocation or one should simply focus on the next two, three year window where you think markets will continue to reward and delight us? See, Nikunj, I, I can't speak for others. Mm. I can speak for what has brought me this far. Mm. What, what has brought me this far mm. is don't time the market, okay. at least in the Indian market. So always remain fully invested. Time karoge na, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, you, you decide that today it is looking like a very frothy, very high. Mm -hmm. Aap 10-15% cash mein mm -hmm. The market just takes off. You mm -hmm. look at the, how big is it? See, election result was not yeah. a small event. Yeah. Yeah. Huge setback for the, uh, uh, this thing, ruling party. And yet the market closed hardly a percentage or two lower. Mm -hmm. And in the next 24 mm -hmm. hours, it was higher than that. Yeah. The guys who sold mm -hmm. for first two days, they're still nursing their wound. Mm -hmm. The stocks which they sold, they are up 15-20 percent. Mm -hmm. So, उसी कारण से क्या होता है? See, in in timing the market, what happens is that yes, you could be right right now, mm -hmm. but then the your assumption is mm -hmm. that at the bottom you'll be able to buy it, mm -hmm. and then again it goes up, again you'll be able to sell. Mm -hmm. So this actually, at least I am not competent. Mm -hmm. Neither I have time nor energy mm -hmm. nor uh, competence. So I just don't attempt that. Okay. I go all the way up right till whatever mm -hmm. is the last. Mm -hmm. Okay. Of course, if you mm -hmm. if you stand for the top, you also have to face the entire flag of correction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we've always spoken about buy and hold. Buy that right, has worked for tight. me. Okay. See, I have a parallel income, mm -hmm. mind you. Mm -hmm. I I'm not dependent on my investment income. Mm -hmm. It is just a what you call fun mm -hmm. for me, mm -hmm. because I have a running company mm -hmm. which earns a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So I have I have my dividends and all mm -hmm. coming. So mm -hmm. I'm not. See, everybody is not that yeah. blessed mm -hmm. in terms mm -hmm. of fixed income. So they must have some fixed income if they are so mm. insecure about uh, equity investing. Mm. Uh, but uh, say, whatever makes you enough money mm. for you to for your monthly expenditure or mm. whatever uh, uh, contingencies. But beyond that, you should be only in Indian equities because mm. uh, wealth creation is about earning uh, returns higher than mm. inflation. Yes. Post buying for post tax. purchasing power. Post tax. Yes, yes. So, आपका ये बताइए मेरे को कौन सा fixed income जो है post tax आपको higher than inflation देता है? Inflation is 5-6 taka hai, that is all post-tax. Your earnings is also post-tax. So there is no return. So even if it is 1% high, 1% high was 70 per... It will take 70, 72 years for your purchasing power to actually double. Okay. Whereas if you earn 15%, in 7 to 8 years, your true purchasing power will double. Yeah. Rule of 72. Yeah. So I think we have to, we have to be cognizant of that. Either you want to double your money nominally also, in 5 years or 15 years. If you go to debt, it will double in 15 years. Mm -hmm. If you come to the stocks, it will double in 5 years. And that has happened in the last 40 years. Why will it not happen in the next 40 years? Mm -hmm. So that's my faith, optimism on Indian history. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't think anything is changing there. So okay. you have to remain allocated. So I'll wrap to the last 2-3 questions. But I want to summarize this point mm -hmm. of yours. That mm -hmm. while you can, we can all point to points of excesses in the market. We can mm -hmm. point to euphoria in the market, we can use the word bubble and we can mm. use the word trouble. Your view is that for a long-term investor, don't be swayed by these short-term ripples and noises which are getting yeah. created. Stay fully invested because the framework of the long-term, which is low interest rates, entrepreneurship, attractive valuations, Indian financial sector is growing, they are intact. So if you are, if you can digest 10, 15, see, 20 percent volatility. you should also have stomach to see correction. Okay. See, it's so long, 8,000 post-COVID. लो था वहाँ से आपको 24 हजार हो गया तो three times तो हो गया और सबको पांच three times index four to five times for actual portfolio minimum okay that is that is a result now with that with so much of profit sitting on your portfolio you should be you should actually wish that let it stop for some time and let it correct by five ten percent you can't you can't be getting just the top and then you sell and then again because there is so much happening in the economy now this monsoon is on it's not a small yeah. The monsoon just, you know, the rural economy uh, blooms, you know, and uh, if by chance oil crack corrects mm -hmm. by mm -hmm. five ten dollars, it's already at eighty. So a lot is happening, and uh, government is also very proactive. Mm -hmm. This budget is half the budget. Mm -hmm. If you if you ask me, this is only their direct taxes. Mm -hmm. Where are the indirect taxes, mm -hmm. the reliefs which are to expected mm -hmm. from the mm -hmm. other side, if they want to give any boost to the consumption, mm -hmm. they have to rationalize that. Uh, uh, the GST rates on those uh, mm -hmm. uh, on those goods and services. Otherwise, consumer, if there is no consumer economy, how far will you go? Mm -hmm. Then what will happen is the total tax collection will, if the consumption mm -hmm. doesn't have GST will start falling off. Last month was bad. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens on for July. 
so I think the GST is already slowing down. Uh, but the evidence will be known as we go forward. And the moment GST machine starts slowing down, mm. government will definitely mm. become proactive. Mm. So last two questions. The P multiple for Indian markets got re-rated when corporate tax came, rate came down. Suddenly corporates were, mm. you know, there to pay less taxes. Mm. The P multiple for equity or for retail investor was, was always beneficial. Why? Because tax rates were low. Mm. Now tax rates have gone higher, which in a sense will you know have capital impact. Gains? Capital gain taxes, uh -huh. right? Could that have an impact on <coughs> flows, P multiples, and other basic parameters for equity in India? You see, you have to understand two things. The difference between capital gains mm. and capital gains tax. Okay. First comes the capital gains, okay. which is not impacted by your capital gains yes, tax. Yes, yes. See, the driver of capital gains mm. is the corporate earnings, mm. interest rates, mm. you know, corporate earnings, fundamentally corporate earnings growth, mm. and mm. at the margin interest rate. If your low interest mm. is there, if it is 5%, then 20 mm. P multiple becomes the base rate, you know. If the debt multiple is 20, so the equity has to be with the growth higher at least. So what I'm saying is that uh, uh, if your uh, corporate earnings are intact, in that case, uh, you are fine. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, so what was your question? I forgot. No, my question is that if the tax rates, they go higher, could that have an impact it's, on the multiples? So and obviously you are getting less. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if I was mm -hmm. getting mm -hmm. uh, uh, 90 bucks back, right. 100 rupees uh, gain, right. Right. 10 rupees tax, and mm -hmm. I was getting mm -hmm. 90. But First important thing is there is a 100 rupees gain. Mm -hmm. That is not impacted by how much is taken away by government. Mm -hmm. And that too after only I sell. Mm -hmm. If I don't sell, there is no incidence of tax. Mm -hmm. So when I sell, I get 2 rupees less. Mm -hmm. So government has taken, I mean, increased mm -hmm. the pie of what they take from us. Mm -hmm. But the gains are not impacted. Mm -hmm. So in fact, they are trying to, this money will be spent in the economy in such a way that actually economic boom should happen. Mm -hmm. And that should give impetus to the corporate earnings. So I hope what 2-3% extra tax they are taking, that will be made up more in the corporate earnings. Mm -hmm. It should, I mean, I'm just being greedy. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking that the way government will spend the money yeah. back into the economy, that will increase the corporate earnings by 2-3%. And that's a fantastic point. So I'll just wrap up today's interaction. First, congratulations once again on 1,000 crore quarterly profit. I'm in touch wood. I have had the pleasure of tracking Mutila Rosal Financial Services. The profit, quarterly profit used to be in double digit. Yes. Moved to triple digit. Yeah. Four digit. Hopefully five digit very soon. Yeah. That's what I think, uh, you know, we all no, wish and hope for. We are not that greedy. <laughs> it will take time. It will take its own 25% you know, compounding. So it will take eight, ten years for digit to change. Okay. So, well, why not? Yeah. Plan karenge to hoga. Ah, yeah, yeah. It's right. all planned. Okay. Second, market. Your view is that Rather than timing the market, spend time in the market for long-term investors, continue to stay and invest it, it uh, but also prepare for volatility and maybe a correction which cannot yeah. be ruled out. Very, very healthy correction. See, crash is, correction is different from crash. Hmm. You know, we are not in a valuation or hmm. in a zone where it can crash. I mean, something happens globally, if Nasdaq or something comes down by 50-60%, there is a run on the uh, equity market. That's a different thing altogether. And risk can come from anywhere. But I think one should be always be ready for a healthy correction. Third, financials or anything related to do with financial markets, whether it is brokerage, AMC, whether it is banks, the picture is This is a multi-year bull run according to you. And what we are looking right now is just the tip of the iceberg. There's a long, long way to go for companies which are associated directly and indirectly in the financial, with financial services. Yes, I think uh, financial sector will be one of the I mean, any sector grows, financial sector benefits. Okay. And monsoons are great. Chate bahar a chuk hai, legs bharne lagi hai, which means that we could be in for a surprise and the second half for the economy could be better than the first half, considering government will spend more and monsoons are decent. Yes, I think so. I mean, I'm, I'm just hope, I, I keep my finger crossed after seeing very subdued first quarter result. My real fear is what happens in the rest of the year. Echi, bata hai, 60 saal ke upar ek bhi safed bal nahi hai kaise hua. Yeah. secret to batani it's all uh, beautification of uh, hair. <laughs> Stay happy, do yeah, what yeah. you like, spend yeah. what you like. It's the no. HQ what you're working on. No, 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 it, it is to do with uh, the passion for uh, what you love you and you do what you love. Mm. And it is, I mean, it is not that design, so to say. I mean, when I look back, uh, I mean, if I had taken a job in some corporate instead of coming to the stock market, I would have been rotting somewhere or maybe on the retirement age, mm -hmm. you know, grey haired somewhere. So it all depends on being lucky to pursue what you love. Everybody knows Warren Buffett is your hero, your mm -hmm. mentor, somebody mm -hmm. you looked up to. Uske alawa kwan? Ek tawar bata dije. 
अभी नया अभी पैशन है चक फिनी अच्छा चक फिनी सी ही आई मीन इवन बफेट्स गुरु इज फॉर गिविंग सी वन इज अर्निंग एंड सेकेंड इज गिविंग फॉर गिविंग चक फिनी इज बाप आई मीन ही इज अमेजिंग सो चक फिनी हैज ही वॉज अ मल्टा बिलियनर द गाय वो स्टार्टेड ड्यूटी फ्री शॉप ऑल ऑफ द वर्ल्ड दैट गाय डोनेटेड every single penny 99.9% is yeah, what i so hear. that's what i mean that's the inspiration it takes lot more courage to give mm-hmm. so at least uh, he I, my sense is he is my guru second guru for earning buffet and giving chak aapne aaj hame time bhi diya wo bhi charitable hai thank you very much <laughs> for joining us and with yes. that it's back to the studio thank you if you like this video then like share and subscribe to et now 